It started out as how might we meet students' needs throughout the day. And we were talking a lot about their physical needs and their need for movement. And as we immersed and spoke to a lot of students, what we found out was that their physical needs were secondary to their level of engagement. So if the students felt engaged during a particular class, they didn't feel hungry, they didn't feel tired, they were just much more motivated and engaged. When we delved deeper into student engagement, we started looking at staff development and opportunities for teachers to learn from each other and learn about things that will help them in their classrooms. Traditionally, many schools have full staff meetings. The whole entire staff gets together and you don't get that much of an attendance. And the people who are sitting there are yawning, they're not participating, they're not engaged. We wanted to design professional learning opportunities to the teachers that they found exciting, that they found useful, that they initiated. And now we have this idea where you can have flexible timing and differentiated meetings and topics, and the teachers are excited. They want to come. They're signing up on their own. They're initiating the sessions on their own. They're talking about the sessions afterwards. They're emailing, they're chatting, they're texting. They're going into their classrooms and they're implementing it. After the first prototype, we took everybody's feedback and we came up with basically common goals that everybody seemed to have had and we planned the next prototype, which is basically an opportunity for teachers to learn from one another, where they basically come in, there's this humongous calendar, and they pick a day and they pick a time, and they decide what they want to have a session about with other teachers, and other teachers can sign up. One thing that I truly took away from this whole experience, I learned that it really doesn't matter who you are and what your position is. It really was just about people coming together and sharing ideas and once everybody was sort of able to feed off each other and bounce ideas off each other, it just exploded and grew and we were able to get to a place that I don't think any of us imagined we would be able to get to. Education today has become much more complex than in the past. The needs of children have changed, technologies have changed, the environments of school. And what I find that teachers today need to be not just educators, but innovators. Design thinking has provided a structure to analyze these problems and, and develop solutions.